Uh, the real power of this nation is in its people and in its communities and coming together and, and, and rejecting something that just doesn't make sense to them. And the greatest successes I achieved as Surgeon General of the United States was forming partnerships, coalitions, stealing best practices from communities like Los Angeles and bringing them to the federal government saying it's been tested, let's do this, let's work with it. Now it's time for the citizens to step up again. And now certain, last and certainly not least, Ben Middleman, again, thank you for your willingness to bring to our attention the personal side of chronic disease and the problems it causes. And because of that, uh, Ben was inspired to uh, direct Dying to Live, the journey into a man's open heart, which is a personal journey of chronic disease. Ben? Thank you, Doctor. Um, I, I'm not an expert on, on health care or policy or treatment. Um, but I have had a lot of experience with chronic illness, and certainly not different than, than everyone in this room, just I happen to have a camera turned on. At the age of 50, I was um, diagnosed with the um, same heart condition that had derailed my father's life, and I had open heart surgery. Um, so as an actor um, turned wannabe filmmaker, I decided to uh, turn the camera on myself and uh, record what I knew would be something truthful, something very honest. It was always the actors saying that you needed to uh, use yourself and what would be more appropriate than using my entire body in this film. Um, I had met a docu documentary filmmaker that had told me that the success, the success of a documentary film was simple. You just turn the camera on your subject and you hope he dies. Um, <clears throat> I knew it was a metaphor for you hope something dramatic is really going to happen and, and that you hope that um, you, know, you were able to capture it and that the light was right and all of that. But, uh, um, but I did. And I, I turned the camera on and I started to, to, to chronicle what turned out to be a very raw and uh, strong journey. But as, as it goes, man, man makes plans and, and God laughs. And uh, I, what I thought was going to be the, the story of a, uh, a starker kind of athletic guy that was uh, overcoming this challenge and looking at the, the parallels between his father's life and his own um, turned out to be something far different. I mean, so, while I was in recovery, um, my mom was diagnosed with uh, colon cancer, and, and my wife was uh, diagnosed with mesothelioma, which is a very lethal form of lung cancer. At the same time, I was called upon to be the um, primary caregiver for my aunt, the last middleman, who lived in Van Nuys, uh, as well as the primary caregiver for um, the man that worked for my wife, who we were his only family. And things began to spiral, and, and they spiraled. Um, And I made it through. I, mean, I survived. It's, it's, a, it's a film that's a story of survival, and it's a story of loss, and the struggle to grow. I mean, the entire time I was making the film, I was in therapy, and you see the fear of what it's like to be a patient undergoing uh, a severe medical crisis. And it's a story of love. And after my mother died, and I came back to... Los Angeles, I was looking for what I could do, what would be my next project. Um, I appreciate you including me as a celebrity. I certainly was not a celebrity in Los Angeles. I mean, I had worked in, in film. I had worked uh, on some shows with some of the people here. But um, I came back and I was looking for the next project that I would work on. And I realized that I had all this raw footage of my heart surgery and the, the period of nine months after. And all the people that I was involved with and that I had taken care of were involved in that period of time. And I, and I realized that I had turned the camera on the subject and the subject lived so that he could help other people die. And that's really uh, the journey of, of the film Dying to Live. But it's also, I think, appropriate here today because I think the film addresses and my experience had confronted a lot of the issues that are going to be faced by uh, baby boomers and an aging population. 
So I'm glad to be here. And, uh, Thank you, Ben. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.